Hey there guys, Noah here, and welcome back to another Bang Art Discussion video. Today we are back to talk about the new ban list. Finally, they hit some of the broken shit. <laughs> and uh, they did a few surprises for me, uh, not gonna lie. And we're gonna go over that in today's video, so let me know in the comment section what you think. And uh, let's get into it. So starting off with Standard, they didn't do anything to Standard. Kind of figured that, you know, they... You know, I think the format's pretty fine for the most part. B, however, they went ahead and hit us up with a few bans immediately out of the gate. So, Percival is outright banned. Uh, feels bad for the Bluish Flame deck, but honestly, considering how it was running amok in the entire format in question, uh, yeah, this card needed to go. And Kobuku Kurasu, or whatever the fuck you'd call it. Birdman, it's gone. Why didn't you also decide to hit um, Mizukaze at the same time? I don't know. They're probably going to hit that in the next ban list at some point too, because they're going to eventually realize, oh shit, we fucked up because Mizukaze is a hundred times better than this. Uh, then they also gave us back Karen and Ellie, and then they outright banned Kutir. So, already a great step in the right direction. I think they realized how problematic Kutir was uh, overall and uh I was kind of shocked with the with the Karen unrestrict so I guess that means now we're free to go ahead and use Karen in Luard again which is gonna be a lot of fun um and Ellie it's like yeah damn I, I, I guess gives you a little bit more shield gives you a lot more to work with but does this mean that prison's gonna come back in a, like a big splash or a way to the point where they're gonna be really good again. Like enough to a point where they're like god tier like Steam Maidens. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I get the feeling that Steam Maidens was the primary reason why they decided to unrestrict Karen and Ellie. Uh, but we're gonna wait and see how the meta plays out. I think they should have done a lot more. Honestly, they should have honestly just gotten rid of Steam Maidens somehow. Maybe it's it's still relatively new to them and they just don't know how to ban it but i don't know like to me they should have actually fucking did something honestly though the v premium hits were good hits but they needed to hit steam maidens and because it, it's it's running amok and <laughs> everyone's having a bad time against them honestly uh so finally we get to premium and they did the things i expected it to so a little bit of an interesting thing where before we even get to the, the actual bands they outright restricted ruination to one in all of Stoikea and I'm like thank god because not that it would actually be abused probably it would be abused let's be honest uh, ruination is kind of a problem um, it, it, it's just Jesus Christ yeah the, just restricted to one so you can't abuse it thank god uh, Nizari to being banned. It's probably the best thing that could have ever happened, because now I don't have to worry about that shit. <laughs> uh, especially with the new triggers, like, the Grey Threes slowly rolling out. Yeah, you know, this, this deck just, this card needs to go. It was never fun. Uh, and then, MFD and Odysseus banned. Thank fucking Christ. There's, I feel like Odysseus should have happened way back in the G era, but, you know, we, we're, we're gonna take this now because, oh my fucking god. I didn't think they'd do it midway through a season, though. Um, I think it's definitely one of those weird instances where you just don't expect them to actually hit shit midway through a season, and I think it was mostly due to the fact that Mystery Flare and Odysseus were extreme oversights, and... Considering that my only two main losses were against these two decks when I went to BCS Dunleaf, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that this this it shouldn't be. You go first, you go and just ruin everything and have fun. No, it's just I don't know. Like Odysseus definitely needed to go. Because even if you put it to one, there was no easy way to balance the card. Uh, because you could just keep recycling it. Um, probably thanks to the Legion, if anything. But yeah, Glad Odysseus is gone. 
And then Mystery Flare, it is probably gonna have to get hit in V at some point as well once they produce more cards that can abuse this. I, I just, I have a feeling that they're gonna do it eventually. Uh, but anyone who built a Mystery Flare deck, uh, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> However, I think the biggest thing when it comes to this is that they refuse to touch Narakami in any way, shape, and form. Which is weird, because it has got a, a large majority of the tops over the last couple weeks. And I'm just sitting here, I'm like, bro, the, 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 you must really hate Grand Blue so much to a point you don't want to fucking get, you know, hit Narakami at all. Like, that's what this tells me. I think overall the bans and the restrictions were honestly pretty good. I definitely do think that they could have done more in premium and as well as V. Um, specifically to hit the decks that are being extremely problematic in both of those formats. And again, I don't think they should hit anything in standard just quite yet because honestly, as strange as it is, standard's been the most balanced format out of like any format we've had in an extremely long time. And I don't see that changing anytime soon until, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. I think they could have maybe hit Gravidia if they had to have done anything. But again, we're going to wait to see what happens. Until next time, guys, this is Noah, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.